Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined today by Tim Vredenberg, the Director of Forest Management for the Cow Creek Umpqua Tribe. Tim, good to see you. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. So the tribe has some land. Um, how, how much and, and what are your responsibilities with that job? Sure. The, the Cow Creek, I work for the Cow Creek Umpqua uh, Tribe of Indians, and, and they have about uh, 28,000 acres of forest land that, um, that we manage in southwest Oregon. Uh, I've got the best job on on the planet, uh, getting to work for great people and uh, uh, getting to work in the woods uh, a little bit and, uh, and really doing some creative, innovative um, kind of things is, is uh, really rewarding. Okay, and, and so uh, I understand the tribe harvests and, and sells timber, is that right? Yeah, they do. Um, we're, right now we're really working hard on a management plan um, that that's going to tell us, you know, how much uh, how much is growing, and and what what the harvest level will be, as we you know as we look to balance, you know, the good forest management, um, you know, and protecting our you know our resources, our streams, and and our water, uh, with uh, fire reduction and you know protecting our forest and. And so there's a lot of stuff that goes into that that um, that calculus, but sure. Okay. Do you guys in your management plans does that include control burns? It does. Uh, you know, burning is a practice that the tribe has done for for millennia, uh, and and is still an important part of of what we do today. You know, you know now we under we know that eighty percent of the heat from a wildfire comes from the forest floor, so. When we have the opportunity following a harvest, uh, you know, where we can get in and reduce the fuels and the number of stems that uh, that then follow that up with underburning, um, it really is a great insurance policy for the next generation and that you know future forest. Okay, and I want to ask you when we when we come back and take a quick break, we'll talk about uh, about tribe philosophy versus federal sure. government and forest land. First, we're going to take a quick break. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Tim Vredenberg, the Director of Forest Management for the Cow Creek Umpqua Tribe. So we're talking about, uh, you know, the 28,000 acres you guys, uh, the, the tribe owns. Um, how, is, how would you guys manage that versus how the federal government manages uh, its forests? It, you know, really, it's a completely different starting point. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the way we do things on public lands is, is uh, you know, Develop systems we developed in in Europe and brought over and applied here, you know, through through our government systems, and um, it's it, it creates kind of an interdisciplinary approach where we bring in all of the different experts from their fields, and then, you know, you put a project on the table and you negotiate for your interest or or that that area of field that you represent. So you have biologists pitted against harvest and all of this. Um, uh, you know, it's it's an environment ripe for tension, mm. and 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 what I'm what I've learned working for Indian tribes for the last 18 years is that they uh, um, it's more of an integrated approach to management where uh, the the tribal council um, or the leadership provides a vision uh, for what they want, and then um, then the team you know executes that vision. Uh, and the, the, the timber guy has just as much responsibility for, you know, fish and clean water as, as the biologist does. And, and likewise, the fish guy has just as much responsibility to provide uh, revenue for, you know, because it's going to things like education and, and uh, taking care of people. So they've, they've got just as much responsibility as uh, um, the tree guy. So mm -hmm. everybody has this shared responsibility and a common vision and interest, you know, in, in, the, in a successful result. And it's not this um, uh, battling disciplines sort of scenario. So it, it tends to be a little more functional, I think. Okay, and, and I'm curious, and, and this, is, this is a difficult question, but is there a way for, for these, these different philosophies in forest management to, to prevent things like we've seen? Um, I'll use paradise as an example. Sure. That we've most recently. You know, I think it's, it's developing a common understanding of the outcomes that we want. And, uh, 
you know, paradise is a horrible disaster and we're getting singed every year, you know, uh, fire seasons just seem to get longer mm -hmm. and more severe. So that's not an outcome that we want. So I think the first step is for us to develop that common vision of what, uh, what we want, and that's healthy forests, um, maybe a little bit of smoke certain times of the year, but not this massive catastrophic wildfire scenario cycle that we found ourselves in. Good to see you. Yeah, Thanks nice very to see much you. for coming. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>